Hello viewers, and this is Playlin Sam Val brought to you through the power of the new thing called the internet. And today we are bringing you a new type of video, it's a let's play with review notes on top. The let's play you'll be hearing from Val, and the review notes on top you'll be hearing from myself. Hello guys, it's Filestorms back with another video. So this time we are with a new release, an indie project. This game, as some of you may know, is... My Summer Car. It is a finish. Sorry to interrupt, but I think you'll find the game isn't finished. The game's actually in early access. Oh, you said finish. The people who, for some reason, it takes them this long to say hello. Car building simulation. Where you build and drive and work it as a Finn in Finland. And you build, you can build your car, tune it, and uh, yeah, there's lots of options you can do. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. Building the car does take an insanely long time, and this game is a permadeath sim. It is crazy. It's a really good game. I saved a bunch of time by going to the store to get the fan belt, because I need one. Anyway. Well, it sounded like you had a better time getting to the store than I did. These are my failed attempts at getting to the store as I rolled the van again and again and again. It should... It should recognize that it's on a counter soon. Oop. That, that's not good. Or maybe... Maybe I need to put it in the fridge now? I don't know. I remember... <clears throat> seeing videos on uh, them putting it on the counter, but and it just fell out, so maybe I press U on it? Oh, holy shit, yeah. It's U. <laughs> <clears throat> Someone's struggling a little bit with the controls, aren't they? I mean, it's not that hard. There's only 27 buttons you have to learn, and what also might not come across is that the buttons work differently with the different objects you interact with. I mean, what's so hard about that? What do you mean 27 buttons isn't normal? <laughs> Get good. Okay, this mosquito spray is friggin' amazing. You basically need it if you're not gonna go insane. Oh, look at that, the phone's ringing. Okay, so, as you can see there, uh, that was, that was a guy wanting some firewood. So, to make money in this game, you basically go chop firewood, you can clean out sewage, it, it's, there's a lot of stuff you can do in this game. Um, it's still in early access, and I'm just trying to, okay, there we go. It's still in early access, so, uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, completely finished, but it is insane the amount of uh, detail there is in building the car. So that's an air filter right there. <clears throat> so as you can see here, there are a whole wide range of parts. This is just all engine parts and to get the thing running. There's a bunch of interior parts. Um, I'll go and show you... Yeah, so let's just get started building the, uh, my, um... If you have just listened to what Val has said and you're not following or you've just switched off, then this game definitely is not for you. The car building is the main center of the game and everything is generally built around the tedium of owning a really terrible car. Like this one. Yes, Val, I said your car was terrible. I mean, look at it. We're just going to put in the subframe and get started. We're gonna need this. So this is all the in like the the chassis, the chassis parts. Um, I'm just going to. Uh, okay, so I think it's a ten. 
I think it's a 10 for the chassis frame. Yeah, it's a 10 for the chassis frame. So, where is that bolt? There it is. I will skip most of the building part, or I, I'll fast forward it, because it really does take a long time. I think it takes about an hour to build, to build the entire uh, car, roughly. And since I got that fan built, it'll save a lot of time. Anyway, uh, into the time lapse. This was the car that I was using. Yeah, it's alright to be well, Jal. Okay, so I'm getting another phone call. If he wants me to pick him up at the pub and drive him home. Show me the money! I'm gonna hang up on him and go back to bed. Oh, so, um, let me just do a quick update. We're doing quite good. We got the dash in. Um, I should probably put the steering wheel in there now. Okay, so I'm back at a time lapse again. So, this is the, uh, the parts catalog. You can buy a whole bunch of new dashboards, chairs, um, whatever these things are, uh, a new radio, um, air fuel pre pressure these fancy gauges here like oil pressure and and such and um yeah okay yeah so this is the house you can save in the bathroom we save in the bathroom okay so welcome back guys um i cleaned up the all the uh, mess and stuff. Um, so, I forgot about one really important feature that the game is pretty much like based around. It's uh, it's Finnish beer. It's Finnish beer. It's very uh, you toss the bottles up and you buy a bunch of beer. Ooh, I actually have a tipsy effect now. Um, also, if you drink a lot of liquids, okay, so as I was saying, if you drink lots of liquids, you have to go to the bathroom. As you can see there, the urine, the urine, urine bar is going down. You can also piss all over and anything, you don't need to do it in the bathroom. Demonstrates perfectly the level of humour that this game does offer. If you don't find this funny, you just find this cringeworthy, and you're not really interested in this sort of humour, then this game is definitely not for you. There's swearing, you urinate, you can punch. So basically, you're just being a drunk yob who owns a car. But anyway, back to you, Val. Just keep your basic needs up, keep your money up, keep your fatigue down, and uh, yeah, you'll be good. Alright guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching that quick little thing there. Um, I'm going to go get some liquids because I need some anti... F er, I need some... Uh, some coolant and oil. Also, I need to get some gas for it too, so... Um, yeah, you might as well come with me for that. I need fuel, so I'm just gonna leave it running while I go get some, uh, while I go save, just in case, you never know. Alright guys, I'm back from this, from the town. I've got myself some motor oil for the engine, and some, uh, coolant. So, I'm just going to place it down here for a minute. Oops, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, um, so I'm going to take off the cap so we can put in some oil. There we go. And... I think this is a good time to talk about the game while Val tries to steal an old tanker. I was ready to slate this game. I was ready to put this game down. 
And when you compare it to AAA titles, the controls are off the wall. The vans flip continually. You have permadeath. The game doesn't stand up. But when you compare the game to what a lot of indie developers have been doing, just generally being that the simulator era, then the game really is a good example of one of these. The controls are over finicky because it just adds an extra level of complexity to the game. And this helps the game to make you feel constantly on edge. You're also constantly having to think about every little thing you're doing because there isn't just one button that does things. You have to think about that you're turning things or that you're interacting with things and how you're doing it. And overall the game has an almost daunting feel to it that I had that I was constantly going to flip my car or van and just die and lose all my progress. You can turn this off, but it would detract from the game, I feel. But anyway, let's get back to Vile. Well, I guess we're going nowhere in that anytime soon. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. So, um, these are the things that you can do uh, other than the car, which is what I've been focusing on mainly, but... Uh, you can chop wood and uh, yeah you can chop wood load it up all up on a uh, load it all up on a trailer which is outside I'll show you that in a second uh, I'm gonna pick another log because that one doesn't didn't want to split okay Okay, so once we're done splitting all the logs, hang on a sec. Okay, so once you're done splitting all the logs, just throw the axe away or down. And you can actually back your tra trailer in to here with your big truck and just fill it full of wood and then sell it. Um, and this here, this tractor here, you can use to help you build your car, mainly. Or move the trailer, I guess, but mainly people use it for, mainly people use it for uh, fixing the car, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, I wish that door would stop closing and sh opening. Okay, whoa! That's perfect. Now we can actually see the bottom of it. Okay. Oops. For whatever reason, it doesn't look like it. Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay. Um, I do not know what what is what is wrong. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to jack up the front of it as well. Alrighty. So it looks like, there we go, there should be a third one, oh fuck off. Okay, while well, Sweary McSweary is getting the phone, let's explain why we're not flipping out about the clipping. The game is in early access and things like that are forgivable in early access, what we're really looking for is the idea of a game, and this game is supposed to be a dull game about owning a summer car, and it does that perfectly. But I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a note there. Anyway, back to you Val. That's where it is. There we go. Alrighty. Now we can set the track. Get the tractor to set it down. We'll set this down. There. All done. That's one weird tractor to drive, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. 
let us go and try to move it now. It should move, no problems. I'm gonna try to put in oil again. Oh shit! Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go back it up a bit here. Uh, it's still not working. So, my guess is that uh, there's no clutch fluid. So, let's get her going. Oh, now it's popping. Oh, that's not good. Just don't let it get up into the high revs and we should be fine. And don't get too far from the, uh, from the farm. I actually should go put the RPM meter in it so that I know, oh shit, that didn't look good. Ooh, that does not look good. That really doesn't look good. Looks like it's smoking. Oh, there's no brake fluid. Yeah, there's no brake fluid. Okay, so I'm guessing that there was no oil in it. For whatever reason, I don't know why, it was not wa Oh, I failed the top on it, that's why. It was not wanting to put oil in it. Like, uh, this is a brand new bottle. It hasn't been used yet. I take it up to it. I come over and I try and try and try like I put it right next to them like the I did the other ones and every now and then get a bar that stands still so this game is in early access so it is buggy yep understood hopefully the the uh, programmers see this video and say huh that's kind of weird that that bar isn't filling up. Okay. But if you saw how much detail went into the building of the car and the screws that you had to tie in there, this is what adds to my point. This could have easily just been car simulator. A few buttons that you have to push to put the car together, a physics engine that doesn't work at all, and we could have all just laughed as the developer tried to make some money out of putting no effort in. But the level of effort that's been put into the building of these cars is what gives this game that added level. You've got the standard simulator survival stuff that we're all pretty bored of, as you can see in the top left-hand corner. You've got your meters there. But for this, it's that added detail of having to screw in every single screw into the car, having to worry about all the fluids that are in the car, and the fact that these cars can even drive without some of the parts in that wouldn't be needed. That level of detail put in by the developers is the beautiful touch that gives this game and makes this game. But anyway, back to you, Val. Piece of shit. Ice of beef stool. Perkele. Ice of beef stool. It doesn't look like it's gonna want it it doesn't look like it's gonna start again, so there we go. So that's probably how you're meant to do it outside of the boat. But uh yeah, there's a reverse there's a reverse option and a straight ahead. So all the way up is uh, reverse, all the way forward is uh, straight ahead. 
So if you go straight ahead towards that like weird looking wireish building, you will see uh, a build a building start to pop up. It takes a little bit to get over, but it is way faster than the car. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. If you want more of the these kind of videos, like reviews, let me know and I'll uh, do more collabs with uh, Play Than Say. Anyways, anyway guys, thank you for watching and have a great day. And all those nice things that Val have just said from me, but that's your lot for now, so fuck off. <laughs>